Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to 90 at 9, brought to you in association with Bank of New Zealand. This is your morning briefing where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, starting now with US stock markets down overnight. The Dow closed down 118 points or 1%, and the US 10 year Treasury bond yield also fell. 8 basis points to 2.14%. That means people are a bit more nervous about the US economy. That's ahead of key US jobs data tonight. It's called non-farm payrolls, and it's the best measure of what's happening in the US economy employment market. For August, there's an expectation of a rise of 68,000, and that's down from 117,000 the previous month. But there are some nerves around Goldman Sachs has halved its forecast to only 25,000. Also overnight, European factory output figures were quite a bit weaker than expected in August. And in China, key market for New Zealand, growth there was at a 29-month low in factory output. They are still battling inflation. In fact, over the last day or so, we've seen tougher new reserve bank rules in China to try and slow lending. Also, there was a surprise cut in Brazil's official interest rate. They're seeing slower world growth and they're also battling a strong currency. Even though their inflation rate is near 7%, they cut their official rate. In Australia, retail sales were slightly stronger than expected. That's reduced expectations of a Reserve Bank rate cut and means the gap between Australian interest rates and New Zealand interest rates slightly smaller. That means the New Zealand dollar has weakened a bit versus the Australian dollar over the last week or two. And with one week to go until the World Cup starts, the costs are becoming clearer now to taxpayers and ratepayers. The number of corporate tickets unsold is likely to be around 20,000. Remember, these tickets are about 2,200 at their cheapest. That's for two quarterfinals. The most expensive, 10,995 per person for the semi-final and the final. No wonder they're not selling. This means we're looking at a loss for the government of around about $39 million, even though the International Rugby Board is pocketing plenty from its TV rights. And Dunedin City Council realises now it's going to struggle to repay the debt on its new stadium. A report says they're going to have to extend the loan to 40 years from the 20-year loan for the stadium at the moment, and any surplus from the City Council will, will be, have to be used to repay debt. I'm Bernard Hickey. That was 90 at 9, brought to you in association with Bank of New Zealand.